I know that there's uh, probably people on my channel who um, are assuming that my experience is identical to their experience. So um, I mentioned this in uh, other recordings. Um, I've engaged with other uh, people who claim to be targeted people. And what I've noticed is that everybody, everybody's experience is somewhat different. Um, so it'll be the same tactics, except, you know, I don't know, like they use the, the same overall tactics, but um, like the level of control over their environment and stuff like that will be different depending on like, I guess, the, uh, the targeted person. Um, so if you're wondering why um, my situation is unique or different from yours, uh, I think it has to do with how I responded to the situation. Um, so at the very beginning of the operation, um, I just saw these people as, a, as an annoyance. Um, one of you in the comment section had said that, you know, that these people were just an annoyance. Like, that you, you know, you saw that they were trying to undermine you and you were able to get past it and, you know, everything worked out. Um, it was kind of like that at the very beginning. Um, I think that it became more aggressive because I responded aggressively to it. So, like, um, I talked about this in uh, one of the recordings I made maybe like five or six months ago. Um, so, they responded to my response. And they became more and more aggressive because I was becoming more aggressive with them. So, like, when I say aggressive, I don't mean literally aggressive. It was more like... Um, I was I was fighting with them in a in a very calculating way, um, the same way they were sort of you know you know going after me in a calculated way. I basically countered it, like I would do things you know I don't know like I I basically started fighting back in a very calculated way, um, like when the gang stalkers would do stuff, I'd respond to them in sort of in a, in, a, in my own little calculating way. I think what I did is I really just annoyed the living fuck out of them. Um, to the point where they just stop giving a fuck. That's why it's so easy for me to record them. Like, um, that's why they don't give a fuck either. Like, uh, what I'm saying is I don't want to go into detail as far as just like how it all played out. Uh, I talked about this in one of my earlier recordings. So what will happen is that initially, if you're under control, if they're not, they don't feel threatened by you, if everything is going their way, they generally will not really show themselves. So, I mean, they will, but you won't really see everything. I think that as you go along and the more you fight with them and the more things go to shit, the more aggressive they become. So I think that like, um, so like at the very beginning, like did this affect my job or stuff to, to, you know, to the point where I couldn't function? Not at the beginning, it didn't. I mean, I was not playing ball. I mean, when I say I wasn't playing ball, I wasn't playing ball at all. Like, uh, I basically drew the line in the fucking sand and was like, fuck these fucking people. And it was like war. I mean, when I say war, I mean war. Like, they did not like that shit. Like, they didn't. Like, that shit blew the doors off of fucking everything. They stopped giving a fuck. Like, they didn't give... They don't give a fuck now because we declare... <laughs> Just like an over, it was like a war. Uh, I saw that these people were fucking my shit up. I talked about this. I don't know. You guys may not have seen that that recording. Uh, they fucked my shit up, and I drew the line in the sand. It was like, if you cross this fucking line, it's fucking on. And it was uh, like, so. It's. I think that what happened was that they stopped giving a fuck about being discreet. Because I started fighting back in a way that they absolutely did not fucking appreciate. So, like, um, what, what basically happened was that I would see what they were doing, immediately see what they were doing and adapt to it. It wasn't like I was just, like, you know, losing my shit or anything. Because that's what they want you to do. They want you to get upset. First off, they're, they have to be super aggressive for me in order to get me upset in the first fucking place. Like, uh, like with you guys... They're not going to go as far as to fuck with your employment or some shit like that if they don't have to. I think that what matters is that you're pissed that they're getting under your skin. Um, if if you don't get pissed, they become more aggressive. That's also something you have to keep in mind. Um, it's incredibly hard to get under my skin. They have to do more shit in order to get to me, I think, is the overall thing. 
like they can't just do what they're doing with you and expect it to work if that's all they did it wouldn't go anywhere like uh so poverty poverty was the only way they would have been able to trigger me in the first fucking place let me just put that out there so like if if your situation financially is okay that most likely has to do with the fact that they don't need to sabotage you financially in order to get under your skin uh with me they absolutely had to do that so uh you might wonder if um everybody if if everybody's involved in this in this gang stalking us this this gang stalking conspiracy because maybe in your situation you feel like your boss is not involved or your you know your spouse or you know all that good shit like you think that there's only like a select group of people i don't know well the gang stalkers i think maybe the area that you live in might matter the gang stalkers have to recruit people they have to get everybody on board i mean maybe they can't do that where you live maybe it's just like not everybody's gonna play ball uh in this area everybody's playing ball so the area that you live in might matter um you know if you lived out here you're fucked straight up everybody's involved everybody everywhere judges cops uh prosecute every, everybody lawyers fucking everybody every business I'll, I'll prove it to you i'll prove it to you um like next you know if i make another if i make another recording i try to sort of show like how this shit works um the businesses i don't give a fuck where i'm at the businesses every fucking business is working with the gang stalkers that's why uh i could just fucking i could just go to a different part of town or move to like a different area start vlogging and the gang stalkers will just pop up literally out of nowhere are the businesses the fucking they'll come out of the businesses they will be every fucking where everywhere that's because everybody's working with them so like if i went to uh, a random part of town like let's say i went across from here all the way across to you know like the other part of this county uh if i went to the other part of this county and started vlogging a gang stalker will be in the business one of the businesses he'll wait uh he'll watch and he will fuck with me so everybody's involved everywhere that's why uh there there wouldn't really be an innocent manager who would be completely unbiased and objective in this situation like uh <laughs> like uh so yeah if 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 people are taking up for you that must either mean that the gang stalkers weren't able to recruit these people are they good people or i don't know like i don't know we don't have enough information about how this operation works to say one way or another um why your situation is unique or why my situation is more aggressive i should say um what i will say is that i haven't seen anybody since i've been out here who was not in the know uh everybody out here is in the know everybody everybody like uh so like um, if I were to you see this shopping center up here I could randomly I could walk right into the shopping center Say something inflammatory to incite the gang stalkers and I don't give a fuck which of these businesses I'm near They'll come right the fuck out of that bitch and fuck with me I'm telling you like that's what I'm saying like you cannot fucking possibly function in an area that fucking corrupt like the level of corruption is to the point where you don't have a navigate there's nobody to advocate for you there's no fucking body to advocate for you that's why one person talked about lawsuits i was like lawsuits fucking who the fuck uh who the fuck is there to represent me uh if i get a lawyer the lawyer's a gang stalker the jury the gang stalkers are they influenced by them i mean the judge the entire god the whole fucking system is corrupt the entire community is corrupt the entire fucking community this fucking place is like fucking gotham city dude like this shit everybody's fucking dirty everybody's dirty like there's not one motherfucker out this bitch who's not fucking dirty or at the very least in the fucking know um and you know he's gonna turn the other way they're not gonna cause any fucking trouble and you know you gotta remember that even if you weren't involved in the operation, you know about it. These fuck, these people come after you like the fucking mob or some shit. People just don't want that fucking drama. They're still going to play ball. They're still going to fucking play ball. I can prove that shit. I can prove it. Uh, make a video. I don't know. Fucking gate start. I don't know. Just make another video. Try to show you guys. 
Uh, the fact is, though, you'll understand. I want you to understand every fucking person out here, everywhere, is fucking in the know. Everybody. Uh, gang stalkers, all they got to do is follow your ass around. They can go into any business. They can just be anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Like, there's nowhere you could go. The businesses cooperate in, uh, with the gang stalkers. All of them. I had gang stalkers fuck with me in fucking medical environments. Like, I would go to a dentist. The gang stalkers would be in a fucking dental office fucking with me. Dude, getting a procedure done fucking with me. Fucking with me while they would be getting a procedure done. Like, I went to the dentist, right? <laughs> Let me explain how this shit works. I went to the fucking dentist, right? Um, I went to the fucking dentist. And I was in the dentist. There was like a Jason, um, you know, the dentist had like this little thing where like in the, like in the, like the ER shit, they had like these little things that they, you know, these little curtains and shit that they close around you and shit. And they would have multiple, multiple patients. They had like chairs. There were like multiple chairs and curtains and they were just divided by curtains and shit. Uh, so <laughs> because I went to like the, um, I went to the, the cheap shit. The, the the fucking um the college dental shit um uh, i don't know what the fuck you call that the, the college discount shit to get my fucking shit done because it's as cheap as you can get i went into that motherfucker man a gang stalker was right uh, right right fucking in the next shit the next chair the next fucking chair the next chair and this is you getting the fucking medical procedure done to you and the fucking gang stalkers were in the next fucking chair and you was fucking with me while the doctor was in there with him this level of corruption with this level of corruption you're fucked it's basically that simple it's that simple it's that simple like if you guys only could see it uh that's why i was like this shit I'm actually so curious about how this shit works that I don't even really fight with the motherfucker. I don't even fight with him anymore. I'm just trying to understand this shit. This shit is amazing. Uh, I don't even fucking fight with him. I just, I don't even do that shit. You notice that I'm not really like saying shit to him. I don't even give a fuck. This shit is fucking amazing. I'm studying it. This shit is fucking amazing. It's amazing. Like I have never, I mean, I would have never even, you couldn't make this shit up. You could not make this shit up. That's why I was like, you know, I don't even have negative feelings anymore. I'm just studying these people. I mean, I just have to study them because they've aroused so much curiosity. It's almost like my curiosity is taking over. Like, these people are fascinating. It would be like you landed on an alien planet or some shit. I have to study them. I study these people. I cannot believe this shit. It's amazing. It's fucking amazing. Um, <laughs> that's why I was like, oh, you know what? I can't even be mad. Um, well, technically, I could be mad and I should be because the way they fucked me over. But look, um, you guys, I don't know how many videos I have to make to demonstrate this, but you guys have no fucking idea how bad this shit actually fucking is. Consider yourself lucky if you have enough to make a house. They allowed that shit to happen. Let me tell you, either that or your area is not like this area. If you're, if you're in my situation, they allow you to fucking make that money. They allowed it. And at any moment, they could take it from you. At any fucking moment. Uh, they probably don't need, feel the need to do that because, I mean, you're, you're, everything is going their way and they don't need to do that. It's when things don't go their way that they get more aggressive. Uh, when things don't go their way, the gloves come off. They'll do whatever the fuck they want. There's no system to regulate them. They control everything. They control everything. Everything. Everything, the entire fucking, they call, this is what I consider, this is the new world order from, I don't know if you heard that term, but I think this might be the new world order. Uh, the new world order is a real thing. It's like a, a, the, the entire planet is controlled by a group of satanic Satan worshippers or some shit, and it brings about the apocalypse, like the end of days judgment of God. This fuck around and be some shit like the NWO. This is they have like a new world order fucking thing going on. That's why this shit is pretty fucking heavy. Only thing I can tell people is they should probably just try to start looking into spirituality because if this is the new world order, you're you're pretty you're fucked. Anyhow, let me go ahead and close with that.